Hi, I'm Stuart Galuli, the President of the Law Society. It's been a uh, challenging but ultimately successful year. I suppose the biggest issue that's faced us over the course of the year has been the insurance crisis where the, uh, the insurance industry have continued to blame the uh, lawyers and the court system for insurance premiums increasing at an exponential rate. One of the things we've spent a lot of time on this year, um, as in previous years, has been in defending the profession uh, against the completely spurious claims by the insurance industry that the profession and the legal system and legal costs are somehow responsible for the enormous hikes in the cost of motor insurance premiums. Uh, the policy department and the representation department uh, work together in order to produce and promote our submissions to government on uh, draft legislation or on uh, consultation papers. Over the last 12 months we have made 33 returns to the lobbying register, we have made 20 formal submissions to government departments, three appearances before Oireachtas committees and we've also had input into three of the studies conducted by the Legal Services Regulatory Authority. Brexit. Small word, big consequences. One of the side effects of that that we have seen has been the big influx of England and Wales solicitors qualifying and transferring as they're perfectly entitled to do onto the road in Ireland, about 1,100 of them. There was a concern that many of them would, or some of them might be big international law firms, might be establishing offices in Dublin. Um, we haven't seen much evidence of that so far. In fact, we've seen almost none. But all of the consequences of this um, may provide opportunities as well as, as threats. Um, for example, the possibility of some of the legal work in the giant jurisdiction next door, the courts of justice, for example, in London, possibly in the future being deflected into the courts of justice here. Our profession has to be ready for it, and we in the society have been assisting the profession um, to be ready for it by making submissions to government. Another major policy project for the society over the past 18 months was the uh, FATF evaluation of Ireland. And this was essentially an inspection by a team of international assessors of Ireland's anti-money laundering systems and processes. Big year in terms of anti-money laundering work. We introduced new regulations to codify solicitors' AML obligations and make clear what the Law Society does uh, to monitor compliance. The uh, report has just been published and I'm happy to say that the society and the profession and indeed Ireland uh, got very positive ratings and that was to the great satisfaction of our task force. Uh, one of the main things we're involved in is liaising with the Legal Services Regulatory Authority which has recently been set up. We put a lot of work into uh, Law Society submissions to the new Regulatory Authority about legal partnerships that's partnerships between barristers and barristers or barristers and solicitors, multidisciplinary practices and restrictions on how barristers can practice. Um, another notable achievement is that the society's finances have improved fairly significantly over the last 12 months and our revenue grew by 9% in the financial year 2016. Members approved spending over three million on a major IT overhaul here in the society. Um, we're well into that project and we've just completed phase one very successfully. And that has enabled us to implement our e-commerce strategy, which now means that over 90% of our financial transactions are done electronically. It was an award-winning year in the sense that we had a student team win the International Client Counselling Competition, beating their peers in the world. We also had another team that came second in the Telders International Moot Court Competition. Our Diploma Centre won two awards, the Irish Law Award for Service Provider and equally a Postgraduate um, Prospectus Award from the Higher Education Authority. Uh, the Gazette is obviously one of our core services to members and we were delighted last December when the editor of the Gazette, Mark McDermott, won Editor of the Year Award at the Irish Magazine Awards. We were also very pleased with the participation in our free annual Massive Open Online course with 3,209 registered students um, from a number of different countries. Equally to our Diploma Centre, we had over 1,000 students attending um, 30 Diplomas and Certificate courses. So all in all, it's been a very busy and uh, a very productive year for the Law School. Having spent very little on premises development over the last eight years, we now have a number of major premises projects and developments ongoing, um, and I hope that they will add very significantly to members' and students' enjoyment of Blackall Place, um, and also will enhance this building um, as a major historic and heritage building in Dublin. 
The Society's inaugural Spring Gala event in the Intercontinental Hotel in March this year was a huge success. But more importantly, we made €21,000 for the Solicitors Benevolent Association. I'm very proud that the department can, uh, can, through the Calcutta Run, act as a conduit between members and the Peter McVerry Trust and the Hope Foundation. And this year we raised €110,000 for each of those charities to help homelessness in both Dublin and Calcutta. We do excellent work here in the Law Society. It's done by me and the highly professional and dedicated staff, but also by the volunteers in the profession. The many, many hundreds of colleagues who work and, and, and devote their expertise through committee work and through the council, largely unsung, unrewarded, but because this is the volunteer ethos of the profession. They do it on your behalf, they do it well. We hope you're satisfied. If you're not, you tell us, but we think we're doing as good a job as we possibly can and we want to do better every year.